معنا نهج حياة جئنا تبصرة عن كل ضلال أعددنا بضع رسالات تحمل نورا للأجيال بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to this bite-sized video in which we look at a very highly debated question which is to do with Salatul Taraweeh Is it 20 rak'at? Is it 8 rak'at? The debate is always um, ongoing and a lot of confusion amongst the Ummah with some people criticizing the practice of performing the 20 rak'at Salatul Taraweeh which is Sunnah according to the majority of the scholars of this Ummah. So let's begin from the traditions that have been narrated in the reliable authentic sources. We begin with a very clear and explicit hadith narrated by Sayyiduna Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma who states that kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yusalli fi ramadana ishrina rak'atan wal witr very clear and simple language that Sayyiduna uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to perform 20 rak'at in ramadan and witr which is precisely what we do and this hadith is recorded in the famous hadith collection Ibn Abi Shayba it's not the only tradition that has been narrated regarding this matter of Salat al-Taraweeh being 20 rak'at we also find narrations which are attributed to Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala an and Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala an Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu ta'ala an the great predecessors, the great caliphs who all used to practice and used to perform 20 rak'at taraweeh as opposed to the 8 which we hear some members of this ummah citing and quoting it's also worth remembering that this is the opinion of at least three of the main mazahib of fiqh the Hanafi fiqh, the Shafi'i fiqh and the Hanbali fiqh all these great scholars the great Imams of these Mazhabs, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi'i, Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal Rahimahumullah Ta'ala All of them have said that the amount of rak'at which is the Sunnah and prescribed amount for Salatul Taraweeh is 20 rak'at We also find one call of Imam Malik Radiallahu Ta'ala which also supports this viewpoint and this opinion but the more famous a fatwa of or the famous opinion of Imam Malik rahimahullah ta'ala is not eight units but it's 36 rakat of taraweeh so we can safely say that this is a mas'ala this is an opinion which has uh, ijma performed on it the ijma of the sahaba consensus of the sahaba they were all unanimous and nobody ever disputed this matter in the golden era the golden period of Islam however we do find one hadith which is in the famous collections of Bukhari and Muslim and the hadith is narrated by Sayyida Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha who is asked about the Prophet's night salah in Ramadan and out of Ramadan and she says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam never exceeded 11 units 11 rak'at so what some people have deduced from this hadith is that this means that taraweeh never exceeded 8 rak'at 8 rak'at taraweeh and then 3 rak'at of witr however what the ulama mention about this hadith regarding this hadith is that this hadith is not talking about salat al-taraweeh this is not the topic of discussion of this particular narration but rather 
Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha is talking about Salat al-Tahajjud. The Prophet's Tahajjud was consistent in Ramadan and out of Ramadan. There was no difference. Because one could assume that maybe in Ramadan the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam increased Salat al-Tahajjud, increased the units of Salat al-Tahajjud. But Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha wanted to confirm that in Ramadan and outside of Ramadan, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to perform eight rakat. So this is the confusion. But with regards to our stance, our stance is very clear when it comes to the amount of rakat for Salat al-Taraweeh. It is unanimous amongst the Ummah, as I mentioned at the beginning, the great Khulafa, who all encouraged and uh, who, who, who enforced Salat al-Taraweeh in the case of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Sayyidina Usman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And it is mentioned that they ordered people to lead the Salat al-Taraweeh 20 units. So in conclusion, we don't actually frown upon those people who do eight rakat. We don't say that they are misguided or, you know, anything which is, you know, excessive in that way. It's a viewpoint. We respect all viewpoints, some scholars have that viewpoint, but our opinion and our madhab that we follow, alhamdulillah, is the madhab of the majority of scholars throughout the generations. Uh, they've all mentioned the same thing, that the amount of rakahat for taraweeh are 20. And I remember as a youngster, uh, we once had someone ask our Qibla Hazrat Sahib, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, grant them a long and healthy life. I mean, somebody asked this question, he said, is Salat al-Taraweeh 8 or is it 20? And they gave him a very simple answer, a very logical answer that we all enjoyed because we were all very young and we were intrigued at hearing this other viewpoint. So this young student, he put this question to them, is it 8 rakat or is it 20? And Hadr Sahib, they answered very logically, they said that let's suppose that you were after some watch, you know, you wanted to go and buy a watch and you weren't sure whether it was 20 pounds or 8 pounds and you desperately wanted this watch. So they put the question to him that would you take 20 pounds with you or would you take 8 pounds with you? And he wasn't sure, he may, he may be the last watch that was on for sale. So he said, obviously, if I had 20 pounds, I would take 20 pounds. So Hazrat Sahib said, if you really want the thawab of the rawi, and you are confused, you don't know if it's 20 rakat or 8 rakat, then really it's more safer to go with the 20 units. And that would definitely, you know, the 8 are within the 20. So definitely you will get the thawab, complete thawab, of Salat al-Taraweeh and this is the hikmah and wisdom that Hazrat Sahib used in that particular occasion. So once again I want to reiterate that this is the opinion of the majority of the scholars of this Ummah. Jazakallah khair for watching this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. معنا نهج حياة جئنا تبصرة عن كل ضلال أعددنا بضع رسالات تحمل نورا